Rachel Demello. I was diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer, somewhere in October. And then I went through a lot of uh, tests like the FNAC and then the sonomammography and then it was the uh, the mammography that which you have a lot of pain in it and like uh, to that I came to know like it was a very and I had to I had to, uh, the cancer in two places one on top of the breast and one down and it was like uh, uh, the surgeon who was there who was my uh, husband's classmate he was like he spoke to me and he told me this is two place you'll have to get the breast removed out and we have to do a surgery like that sort and these are the consequences sometimes you feel numbness sometimes you get depressed sometimes there are lots of ups and downs which happens because you get pain you feel a lots of uh, differences because after the surgery some you and like there are things which again the cancer might spread like it is not that they, they were not giving me a full uh, like you know it is like you are fully cured it's like uh, there's a 90 10 90 percent 10 percent it is like so then uh, my sister Janice she told me about something like that she had come to me once and I was like I was in tears talking to her about that uh, mammography and all these things are so painful that I don't know further how will I go because this is just a start and in future in case if I have to do and you say it's it's going to be a long way this is a start up still go a long long way and like how am I supposed to function further down because like I have kids who are small and then it was like uh, she told me that there is see something like uh, known as laser surgery which was done to her friend's mother-in-law and like uh, she is now all fit and she had to go to some she's fit for almost five years now yeah so uh one of my friends his mother-in-law had uh, i mean when we were having a discussion this came up where i mentioned to him that you know my sister has been diagnosed with uh stage one cancer while it's one uh, centimeter uh, in size but it's relatively small but uh, it's still cancerous and uh, once i had a discussion with him he mentioned that instead of going through surgery why won't you give this a chance because my mother-in-law is um, you know had been one of the first patients with this treatment and this procedure and she's still going strong for almost five years now and i think that gave us hope because as a it didn't really have to go, you didn't have to go through surgery, one. Second thing, uh, no part of your body was cut down or you had to, uh, you know, have any particular bad memories out of it. I mean, scarring is one, but getting your entire breast removed was something that, even though I don't have it, I mean, I could feel, I could have the fear for her. And I didn't want her to go through that. No one wants anyone to go through that kind of thing. So. We came to Dr. Lucy Bhalla uh, and we had a consultation with him. He gave us a, a couple of materials and contact numbers of some people that we could connect with. Uh, and they all were breast cancer patients, uh, survivors rather. Um, we got in touch with them that same evening. We did our own research. Uh, we checked through WebMD, we checked through some other articles other than the material that was given to us because we couldn't really, we'd gone through that many doctors that at that point of time we were so lost. We didn't really know what to do and what to go through, um, but this uh, procedure sounded lesser of the two evils. I mean, it's something that you go for a treatment, you're under anesthesia, they give you a laser, uh, they burn out the tumor, because you need to understand, and that is something that Rusi Bala, the doctor Rusi Bala told us, that cancer is not something that stops with a particular surgery. It's something that has to be treated and checked on uh, and monitored. But it's not like I remove the tumor and I'm cancer free. It is nothing like that. I mean, uh, just because we are ignorant about the term of cancer, we just gulp up anything and everything that, you know, a doctor in their place tells us, which is fair enough because they know their own, uh, I mean, job. But it's a thing that we need to do our own research as well. And after he broke it down to us saying that, you know, um, it's a laser treatment. When you have something like a laser treatment, why would you go and cut off the breast? Because yes, as women, we're not superficial about many things. Uh, and I mean, breasts are not something that we are superficial of. But only when you lose something, do you realize that, oh, I'm missing a part. It could happen. It happens with your face, it happens with your body, it happens with your finger, your toes, any part of your body, only when it's cut out and removed from you, that's when I believe 
as a woman you take a back seat and it's very easy for people to say that oh no but you know why won't you just remove the breast i mean we had our family members tell us that yeah. why won't you just remove your breast why are you so this about going through a laser treatment and you not heard about anything like that in india and uh, even the oncologists and the surgeons were like but you've not heard about it abhi khan vouch for it and uh, i think that was something that we had to stick by our own faith and we wanted yeah, to we give it our own a try so yeah a shot because we didn't want to go saying we're not yeah. losing out on anything in case if things doesn't work out we had to go back to stage 5 so normal life is going on as usual and this the lump has decreased yeah, which the lump has decreased initially was told to us that it would take at least 6 months and more but i think with a, a proper diet and uh, yeah, some like, food precautions yes. and all these things and the medications um we still come for a, a monthly uh, monitoring session with uh, dr kapalia yeah. as well as dr rusi bhai can you feel the lump now um, mm, no not much it was so it was like when we used used to feel the pain and now it is there's no pain but then it's slightly it's decreasing it's like a fat so that we so now you can feel the time. feel the lump yeah and um, um how would uh, how did you monitor the swelling how are you monitoring the swelling we went through monthly uh, sonographies which is uh, again told to us that that's one of the newest way of you know detecting and checking on any uh, progress or uh, non progress that she's had made in that many months so i think uh, the monitoring every month every 15 days for the first 3 months and from that every other month uh, for the last two months and uh, i think and then there was a fnac also done after the after the surgery one month surgery yeah. and it was uh, showing a negative it was more of a fat tissue compared mm-hmm. to compared to the cancerous cells mm-hmm. that is what the report i think is the report detected after the so any message to potential people who you know women who would have i think you need to give this a try because it's easy for people to say or rather for your loved one to say that you know get a surgery but give this a try if it's not something do your research come for consults with doctors you can always remove the breast later on yeah you can always remove the breast later on if you still want to but Uh, I mean, touch wood. Through people's testimony that we have gone through, and the people that we've known through who have gone through this treatment, and plus my sister. I mean, till now we've not had any complaints, or we've not had any relapse. And I think with a careful monitoring, I don't think we will have that. Yeah, that's true. Give it a try if that's.